Here they are, Sergeant. Go ahead and bring your men through. It's clear. Captain, this is Sergeant Tong. I took the liberty of calling his transport team in to get these captured enemy weapons crated and moved. We can't go through with our plan with all these people around. I already explained to Sergeant Tong that this is a top secret pickup. He won't say anything to anyone. You can count on us, Captain. We'd never say a word about Spec Force business. Where can we take this stuff for you, sir? Yeah, sir. Where are they taking all these highly advanced, highly useful, highly valuable prototype weapons? Spec Force will be dealing with these prototypes, Sergeant. Get them loaded onto my ship ASAP. And make sure you aren't seen. Say no more, sir. Let's get moving, men! Smart move, sir. We are going to get along just fine. I'm in charge of this squad, and I'll expect you to follow my lead. I'm sure that won't be a problem. I'll hit your ride back with the sergeant. Meet you aboard your ship, sir. They tracked down Vic. He's coming with me. Yeah, I heard. He was in the middle of the deepest raid into Imperial territory I've seen. Sobrick, the Balmoran Arms Factory. I heard he hit them all. Vic is definitely good at working behind enemy lines. Like I said, he's one of the best I've got. Now Vic will be strolling around Coruscant with your lot, making publicity hollows while the rest of us fight. What a waste. Havoc Squad fights harder than any other unit in this war. Yeah, I'm sure that's what your CO tells you all the time. I'd like to say it's been a pleasure having you here, Captain, but we both know that's a lie. Come back when Havoc Squad is done showboating all over the galaxy. We'll put you to work for a real cause. When I'm done saving the Republic, maybe I'll stop by. Captain, were you successful in locating and extracting Tano Vic to serve in Havoc Squad? Consider me located and extracted, General. Good. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. Has Vic given you any trouble, Captain? He refused to come in when contacted and repeatedly misused Republic personnel and supplies. That will end here and now. Tano Vic, your service with the Republic Army is hereby resumed. You are posted to Special Forces Unit 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, at the rank of Specialist. It's a real honor to be here, General. I look forward to getting out there and fighting for the Republic again. Permission to speak, Captain. You're my XO. You can always speak your mind. I appreciate it. Vic's a liar, he's reckless, and he has no regard for the lives of his fellow soldiers. With all due respect, I don't think someone like Vic has a place anywhere in the Republic Army, let alone Havoc Squad. I don't want Vic in my unit either, but I don't have any choice. Well, you know how to make a guy feel welcome. I understand your concerns, but we have a job to do. Let's focus on it. An urgent situation has developed, involving a critical part of our plan to assault the Gauntlet. Havoc Squad is needed, immediately. A platoon specializing in bunker assaults, codenamed Safecrackers, is trapped behind enemy lines on Quesh. They must be rescued immediately. We cannot destroy the Gauntlet without them. Surely this isn't the only platoon we have that can crack a bunker? Of course not. But the operation calls for the best men available, and these men are the best. When you reach Quesh, report to Major Donovan. He's overseeing the rescue operation. I can get this op done a lot faster if I don't have to play along with some Major's plans. This is not a point of argument. You will follow Major Donovan's orders as though they were my own. Period. This mission is vital, Captain. If we fail, our entire operation against the Gauntlet is ruined. Stay focused and bring those men home. Garza out. <laughs> 